I'm still pretty fresh there, apart from a slightly numb bottom. I just had enough of it, I can't do it. I think we still have a hell of a way to go. Hardened pillow biters by the time we get home. Oh, 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 that's sore. What's that, you're back, your knee. <laughs> Oh, I've got a sore potty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> my ass, my ass hurts. Oh. Now, we've still got another 343 kilometres to go. Doing the side stand, sir. My ass. Oh, my God. My elbow's hurted. My ass is hurted. Go on, sir. Take a three. So we got now we've got to get to Germany. So we want to play on the B500, but it's a six hour ride to Germany on motorways. So we're not going to get till 20 past four until we can go out and have some fun. So this is Valence. Valence in southern France. <sighs> is it Friday? I don't know what day. Is it Friday? Is it Friday today? Christ, we'll be home tomorrow. One more sleep and we're done. Right, we're here the motorway. Five hours of riding to go. Of motorway bullshit. As we're just motorway, motorway mile munching, I'm going to go into uh, rain mode. Because supposedly, if you go to rain mode, it reduces the power of the bike, reduces the power, and thus reduces the fuel consumption. So let's see if I'm in rain mode, because we're used to about exactly the same amount of petrol at the moment, aren't we? So if I go rain mode, let's see if I then start using less petrol than you but I may have to stop the bike to change modes I'm not sure rain on close the throttle I'm in rain mode now in goes the ticket out goes your money another six of the best a slow coach aren't you it's always excuses with you Yeah, we've got the A42. Yeah, that's it. Not this one, hang on, this is not that one. Don't get, don't get carried away. Onwards. My ass! Oh, my ass! Oh, my ass, man! Oh. James, can you let me off, please? <laughs> oh, my ass off the seat. Oh, my ass. Oh, God. Right, we've got too much fuel we've used now because I've been in the I've been in the economy mode. Mind giving my bike a which is over. Hey what's uh, Hello Italiano Oh English, English? No I don't I don't unfortunately no. Do you need help with the uh, uh, The card, yeah. Uh, not uh banco mat. Not 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 working. Yeah, pop it in there. Oh, don't know. Okay, <laughs> no, no problem. That was a great help. Do you speak Spanish? He said. He said, do you Spanish? Oh, no, sorry. I speak nothing but English, I'm afraid. I'm an uneducated English like 10.21 litres, remember that. Let's see what a real bike takes. 11.20. 11 you put 10.21, I've got 11.20. I lose an extra litre than you. That was a fail. So going to economy mode. Wet mode actually makes you use more petrol. What would you rather have? Fish fish eyes for eyes or fish eyes for testicles? I, I think that's quite an easy one, isn't it? You'd have to have fish eyes for testicles, wouldn't you? We don't want fish eyes for eyes, do you? You can see from every direction. <laughs> No, but they'd still be, it's, they wouldn't be on the side of your head, they'd still be where your eyes go. So you would want your fish eyes on the side of your head. <laughs> if you're having fish eyes, have them on the side of your head and they'd be full on, full, on three, full on 360 vision. I don't think they'd make contact lenses it's big enough to go over your great big googly fish eyes. <laughs> I think we can say, if you had to part with having fish eyes on the side of your head, you're fine, your vision's going to be alright. You don't, you don't have to wear glasses as well. <laughs> That's a big cock. What well, I wouldn't give for a big old screen. Right about now. Here come the bastards with screens. Oh, 
look at them with their screens. Oh, the jammy buggers. Ha ha. Me and my horn man, it's quite throaty. James, James, my <laughs> side stand, please. Me ass. <laughs> oh, it's proper, proper painful. Ah! It's like putting a plaster off a bad wound when you get up on the seat. This comfort seat is perfect for any normal sort of trip. But just sitting on your ass hour after hour. Oh, God. So we've got to get to Pension Williams. So this is two hours. Hey, that's a bit far. That's where we are. Well, we're there. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at that. It's a long way. It's like going from here to Nottingham or something, isn't it? Maybe even Manchester. It's like going to driving riding to Manchester. Let's do it. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. What's it doing? It's not doing nothing now. It's all completely blank. It's always do this to me. Oh, it happens to me every time, this. Assistance. Uh, bonjour, uh, the machine's not doing anything, it's just all gone black. Okay, moment, moment. Load of old bullshit. Ah, me ass. Quick little swap. We were supposed to what the tone is like. Oh, oh, it's loud. It's loud. It's a different position though, isn't it? Oh, the pegs are way higher, aren't they? The pegs are about three inches higher than mine. Oh, me ass. Yeah, the pegs are quite a bit higher, but they're not comfortably higher, once you're used to it, just that initial, oh, they seem higher. Yeah, your mirrors are better than mine. <laughs> they're a bit pony, mine. It's a weird sort of position, isn't it? Because you're still sort of upright quite a lot. You're not really leant forward much, are you? On this. A little bit more than mine. It's just, it's just your lower half of your body's more cramped. Just your legs are a bit more cramped on this. That's what, 80? Yeah, it's, it's better for wind blast. It's much better for wind blast. Hey, let's go. Let's go with the black with the, with the flow orange. She looks mean. So, Toronto is better for wind protection. But, I mean, is it more uncomfortable with your legs being up higher? Because there's definitely more leg room on mine and I feel like I'm hunched. My, my elbows are not that far. I can touch my elbows on my knees. You couldn't do that on mine. But yeah, if you, you know, I could do both at the same time, but I could touch both my elbows on my knees. You wouldn't be able to do that on that, would you? But yours has got a good bit of punch, though, when you just open it up. We'll have to do some roll-ons once we get all the luggage off. I think this, I think this could be a surprise, actually. Oh, it's snatchy. It's a snatchy bugger. The card machine, not not, not your clutch. Oh, that, that quick shift is nice. And you got a blipper. Oh, I don't want to blipper. Oh, my arse is sore. Ah, my arse is still sore. My arse is still sore. I've got corns on my arse, I reckon. The engine on this is a work of art, though. The engine is absolutely gorgeous on this well have a bit of food unpack the bikes try and you can massage my ass and then and, and put some cream on it try and scrape the corns off and then we'll go out and hit the b500 for an evening of fun on the b500 oh yeah i can smell ladybirds Ladybirds, yeah. <laughs> ladybirds, not ladyboys. Have you never handled a ladybird? Uh, yeah, I suppose living in London, there wasn't many ladybirds or so. <laughs> Dog shit, not many ladybirds. Ah, oh, neutral. Oh. oh, I'll come and get you. Hang on, you won't be able to do it. No way with, super, with those boots on. It's even harder than this. God, it's... Oh, me ass, man. Do you want to fuel our own bikes or... Yeah, you can play with your little hole. We'll, we'll see who uses the most fuel. If my added wind, res my added wind resistance on my shoulders is going to have had an impact. Fuel saver 95. Brim skis. So I wanted 9.68 litres. Not a lot at all. 
How's your little hole? Oh, you nubbit. Well, you're just trying to you're just making an excuse for using more petrol than me now, aren't you? By spraying it around everywhere. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Do you want me to try and help you? Go on. Go on now, go. It's, it's, it's literally so small, the hole in there, isn't it? Normally, a small hole is a good thing. Not when it comes to filling your bike. There we go. Brimming. Brimming. 9.73. So, again, mine. 9.68. So, it's so close. So, it's so mine's 9.68. Yours used a little bit more, but you did douse the whole petrol stay forecourt down with it. So, exactly, it works exactly the same. So, even with me on it, the, the weight difference pff, doesn't make much difference. Very interesting. The ultimate fuel test. Back on my own bicycle. All right, let me turn the wheelie control off. Hang on. Don't want to let that shit on. Um, well, according to Mr. Garman, oh, my ass is so bad. The final leg, the final 40 miles, then we're at the hotel about six it's smoother that this is more vibey the engine is lovely on that bike there's no there's no denying that engine it's right here it's no denying the engine on that is absolutely gorgeous absolute absolute masterpiece that engine i mean this like i say but below 3000 revs this is very vibey you know what i mean you can't really ride it below 3000 revs you have to knock it down to keep it above that but yeah it's but, you know, but this is they're just completely different animals, aren't they? There's not there's not there's not one worse or better than the other. It's just what do you want from a bike is what it comes down to. This is a big beastly supermoto. This is a supermoto on steroids. Yours is an RSV4 with high bars on. That's comfortable. You know that that, that is that is what it is. I know what was why it's quicker because I've ridden it. Unbelievably, it picks up better than this. Well, ready? Come on outside. No, there's a car pull down there. <laughs> oh, bother. Oh, we've probably still got time. Three, two, one, go. So Wona's got the legs in six six gear roll-ons. More, more than the Super Duke. I'm really, really surprised by that. Let me get a second. Let's try one. The optimum, optimum revs to go in optimum gear, and we'll see. Three, two, one, go! There you go. It says quicker then on the power. This is faster in the right gear, but it hasn't got as, hasn't got the torque of the Tuono. That's just quite surprising. The mine's moddy, our standard one might be different. On the autobahn, you've got to have a little bit of a play, haven't you? Fourth gear. Three, two, one, go! and we're coming off now. Hell yeah, we're nearly there. Look at that view. A few beers here later on. Oh yes, sir. Uh, there's so much good shit about the B500. It better have been worth the sore body. Red one. Means a knee down. Oh, I believe you had the double bed last time. I believe it's I believe it's my turn for the double bed. It's good. It's bloody good. <laughs>